Using a VPN to get cheaper Netflix is one of my absolute favorite VPN hacks, and it really is as simple as it looks, so long as you follow along with a few rules and a couple of caveats to watch out for. I'm going to show you a demonstration right now. PIA, Private Internet Access, is the VPN I'm using. I like it because it has a VPN server in Ukraine that's really located there rather than just a virtual server, so we know it's going to work consistently for us. So now follow along with me as I go into the Netflix website, and I sign in with our VPN connected to Ukraine. I'm doing this with an account that already exists, but something important to take note of is that you can do it with a brand new account if you want, or you can use your current account wherever you are in the world if you already have a Netflix subscription. That doesn't matter. What you need to do is wait for your subscription to elapse, just let it run out and don't renew it, and then when it comes time to renew, you follow the steps in this video. So here we can see the pricing plans, and already you look at that most expensive one, and that's so much cheaper than it is for me here in the United Kingdom, so much cheaper than the US, Canada, Australia, most of Western Europe. So hopefully wherever you are in the world, it'll be a great deal. Obviously with exchange rates and the way that your currency relates to the euro, maybe it'll be a little bit different, but I think that's a really fantastic bargain. So continuing through Ukraine, we choose our plan. And then here's something very important to take note of. We're entering our payment details, our card details, my own personal credit or debit card, and it allows that. That's huge. That's really, really massive. It means you don't have to bother with uh, gift cards or doing anything like that, any other steps that get in the way of you getting your Netflix cheaper as soon as possible. It'll take, as far as I know, from my experience, it'll accept payment cards from anywhere in the world, so you don't need to have a Ukrainian credit or debit card. That's what makes this region so fantastic. And then, of course, one big final hurdle that normally you can't clear is when it comes and asks us for our phone number. Again, it gives you a little uh, international dialing code drop-down menu there. It means it'll accept any phone number from anywhere in the world. So wherever you are, you can get that two-factor authentication sent through and approve your payment and get your subscription set up. With all of that done, our account is set up and confirmed. And you can see right here on the homepage, it says the most popular titles in the Ukraine right now. What's really cool, again, if you don't know this about this trick, you never have to use your VPN ever again if you don't want to. Me personally, I'd use it for other things and keep it around, but if you just wanted to get your money back on your VPN or you'd have no interest in using it, the great thing is you don't need to connect to it anytime you want to use Netflix. This will work with your account on any platform, even platforms that don't support VPNs. All that will happen is that you won't be connected and it'll show you the regular content available in your region. You don't have to connect to Ukraine to use Netflix. Very important. We're done now, the process is complete, but there is one thing I wanted to address before we go, and that is you may be watching this wondering, well, why aren't you doing it from uh, Turkey or Argentina? You've done your research, you know that those are some of the cheapest regions. Uh, Pakistan, Kenya, Nigeria, all so much cheaper than even Ukraine, and there's a very good reason for that. And that reason is that you should ignore everything else that you've read online, all those other videos you've watched, all the other guys that you've read. Those people are lying to you, they are selling you a full stream. It's because you can't do this process in those countries. I've tested, I've checked around myself and the team at Top 10 VPN. We spent a lot of time on this, checking constantly over the span of maybe three years now. You cannot do this trick in those regions because you either need A, a payment card from that region, or B, a cell phone number from that region. And of course, if you have one of those, then you're probably in that region anyway, so this isn't much of a trick. So the reason that we choose Ukraine, or if you rather, Brazil also works, is because it accepts payment cards from all around the world and phone numbers from all around the world, as I've just shown you using my British uh, credit or debit card, I can't remember which it was that I used, or British phone number. So you can do that wherever you are in the world using Ukraine or Brazil. Private internet access is great because it has servers in both of those. Let me know if that works for you. Leave a comment. Let me know which region you connected from, which VPN you used. And for now, enjoy your cheap Netflix and happy watching. See you later.